Let's have a look at this. Just a quick trick before we get into the main video. I have over here a ring and I have a, uh, a snap day, a broken rubber band. Have a look what happens. We slip it through the hole. The ring starts closer to the bottom of the band. We put it on a bit of an incline, but if you're actually careful, if you're watching, and now it's no longer at the bottom of the rubber band. It is now closer to the top. Yeah. If you want to see a tutorial on how to do this, comment it down below. Maybe we can arrange that. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Guys, it is your boy, Amazing Ash, back at it again with a killer video. Now carrying on from last weekend's video of the part one when we unbox Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic, the book. We're going to be following on today with the five best ways to learn magic. Now, um, hope you enjoyed the video and without further ado, let's get right into it. I thought I might just bring up the question, what are the best ways to learn magic? So I'm going to break this question down into five parts, five different answers to the question. Now making it a case of the five best thing, the five best ways to learn magic. And also things that I mentioned in this video, uh, most of them I'll leave a link down in the description below. I also don't want this video to go for way too long, so I'll be slightly brief on explaining. But anyway, um, let's get right into it. Number five is DVDs and lectures. Now, I'm an owner of many lectures, especially the At The Table Live Lecture series, which you've seen me unbox a couple of times and I actually have about 15 hours worth of these lectures. So one main thing and why they're on this list is because they're online and digital. And I'll get into a bit more info about that later on in the video, but uh, yeah, I like, I like DVDs and lectures. Number four is personal sessions and workshops. Um, I've been to a few of these and if you want to get into magic I would really recommend it. Now the good thing about this is that a lot of older and more experienced professional magicians have lots of tips and tricks which they really want to share with the, with the younger generations of people learning magic. Because um, they really do know some juicy effects, lights and all magic things like that. Number three is YouTube. Yes, my very own platform. The biggest thing which I love about YouTube, which is the same about the DVDs and lectures, is that they're all online. Uh, we're using technology, which is such a main part of our lives. And I think the future of magic is all online on YouTube and other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Um, we're pretty much addicted to our phones, technologies, and social media at the present moment in time. So imagine how we'll be in 5, 10 or even 20 years, our lives are, are going to revolve around our devices. So I think that, uh, so I think that this is the best thing for magic and, and the future of magic. I'm just going to name my favourite magic YouTube channels along with pictures on screen and link in the description, so I highly recommend you check them out. So I'd say um, a couple of the best channels, I uh, love Chris Ramsey, 52 Cards, uh, the Russian Genius, and last but not least, Esther 23 Bezch. Don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, anyway, uh, check them out and let's move on to number two. Number two is PDFs. Not too much to talk about this one, but I do have a few favorites on my laptop, which I have saved. You can get some really great ones for free from Jay Sankey, very great famous magician. Now, one of these Jay Sankey PDFs is quite long, so it's definitely got some great stuff in there. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! I also found an online version of Corinda's 13 Steps to Mentalism. This is a really godly book. Um, did you know this book is over 400 pages long? Yeah, so they're quite really great, and you can learn quite a lot. Highly recommend. And this leads us to number one, Lucky last, this is quite similar to number two and also the main purpose of the video, it is a book. Definitely the best way to learn magic, by far in my opinion. Uh, so much good stuff in a thing that you can fit in your bag. Now I don't have too many books, I have a few. Um, and a few others which I've bought in the past, but that doesn't really matter. Um, books are the holy grail of magic. Definitely, look at this one, expert card technique. Um, 
Have a look at this, guys. Uh, expert car technique. Look, look at the contents. Ready? Table of contents, front cover. Ready? Here we are. Look how many pages there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The, there is nine pages of contents. Do you know how much stuff is in this book? Just, just another reason why these books are so so good anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed the video and maybe even learned how great magic books really are yes they aren't really electronic and digital like i may have recommended before but at the end of the day it gets totally outweighed by the knowledge hidden uh, in, in these bad boys anyway subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video if you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video